Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel for service no hacks. Uh, let's get started. In this video, the topic which I'm you know, sharing is email sending from service no PDI. In my previous video, we have show we have you know seen that how we can enable the email accounts. Email accounts, right? Go to email accounts. Then pop three. Pop three is basically for receiving the email account, which we have enabled, uh, you know, our my Gmail account to get this, uh, you know, integrated with my service now PDI. So whatever the email comes to this email ID will be, you know, coming to my service now for the inbound action testing, right? In the similar way, we will also do the email sending option from my PDI via Gmail account to the email IDs, whatever we are configuring. Let's get started. So. Basically, you go to email account. First step is to going to the email accounts under system mailbox. Click on new. Provide the name. I am giving the name as email account SMTP. So SMTP is the protocol which we will be using for sending the emails. Okay. Then we have to give the you know email label name. Label name you can give anything. I'll give uh, service now PDI. Uh, this is the label name when the email received we will be getting the label as this the username would be the my gmail id for password in the previous video i have shown you you go to your gmail account go to manage google account click on security so in this, we have a two-step verification. Click on this. If the two-step verification is not done, you just have to enable the two-step verification. If it is already done, you know, you can just, you can able to see two-step verification is already done here. You can able to see this. We have a app password. Click on the app password. So here I have already generated, you know, uh, for my PDA, I have already generated the password. I'll just copy the same password. So I'll just <laughs> copy the password, which I have, I know I've just copied the password and pasted in the password section. Then the from email ID, you can give the you know same Gmail ID, which has been there. Connection security would be SSL or TLS. Port would be 465. So this is the port. Server name would be smtp.gmail.com. Once this is done, just save this and test the connection. See, connection is successful. That means the Gmail account is integrated with my service now for this as SMTP also. So let's make this active. So once this is done, go back to your service now, click on your email properties. Just check whether email sending is enabled or not. If not enabled, if not enabled, just enable it and save it. Okay. Once this is saved, thing is let's test this. I'll go to incident. So I'll open this incident. So by, by default, we have a out of the box, uh, you know, notification that if the ticket is assigned to any engineer, that engineer will get a notification. I'll just assign this to particular group and incident manager. This ID is configured with my Gmail ID already. I'll just save this. See my you know ticket has been assigned to the assigned to let's go to system emails see now there is some email which has been you know uh, updated in the log with the status send ready uh, for checking the email uh, you know uh, that when the email schedule will run for sending the emails you can click on email diagnostic See both are active SMTP is connection successful and POP3 is connection successful. We have a SMTP sender job. This is there for every one minute. There are two sender job every one minute it will run, right? So if you go to email and reload this, 
see this has been sent it means you know i should have received the email for this email id from the service now let's see whether you know email has been received right see you can able to see service now pdi the label which we have given and if i open it is showing service now pdi to my gmail id the you know email has been come and this is the email body notification as per the no you know notification mail body which we have configured so this states that email integrated with my service now pdi and we can use the gmail only for sending and receiving and if you also see from email id from here, see from email ID will be servicenowhacks.gmail.com. This I explicitly created for using servicenow to PDI. And this is the Gmail ID for that servicenowhacks Gmail ID. If I go to my sent items, see I can able to see the sent. So basically servicenow will use this email ID for sending and whatever the email ID comes here will be retrieved back to servicenow for inbound action testing. So both the way, you know, you can do your testing uh, in servicenow PDI for any email related uh, queries, right? So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you all.